Chris uh, Parikh Sam, welcome to this live webinar uh, from Living and Working Abroad, ParikhPartnership.com. It's a place to follow our vlogs and blogs during the week. In the lockdown, many expats are trapped in the wrong location. So you may be trapped in Cyprus, Isle of Man, UK, uh, USA, uh, uh, UK, Libya, uh, Italy, wherever you might be stuck, you, you're in a lockdown situation. Um, how is that going to affect your tax residency? This is really important. Um, now, we, we don't know the final outcome of this. We don't know when the lockdown is precisely going to be released. And as we said in the first part, different countries will react in different ways. Different countries, different economies will open up. It might be that you're ready from your country to go back to work, but the second country is being more cautious and, and is delayed uh, or, or still insists on you going into quarantine if you come into country. So at the moment you can fly into the UK without uh, a coronavirus test. Um, will that continue? Um, if you, you get test positive, how will that country re react? Will then, even if you've had the, the flu, the coronavirus with no symptoms and you've got the antibodies, uh, will another country let you go and work in the in their community even though you're completely safe potentially uh, these are decisions that will be based upon the individual governments and and their the way that they are going to interpret and uh, adopt this we've got a small island economy like Cyprus heavily based on tourism so they need to have a clean country with very very little uh, corona virus activity going on so it's safe for people to come and visit and it's safe for people to come on holiday um, but there will still be people that will be hesitant about that there will still be people that will be cautious about that and how do they react to people that come over that might have the infection and and how do they monitor that process so different countries have got different ways that they need to react uh, to this how the the tax office react is a different situation so the UK HMRC have said to two expats that um, uh, COVID uh, lockdown will come under the exceptional circumstances clause which gives an, up to 60 days in country so if the lockdown is less than 60 days then in theory there's no reason why a UK expat uh, trapped in England for an extra 60 days during the lockdown can't return to work as soon as lockdown is lifted uh, overseas and, and not suffer any penalty for the current ta tax year um, 2021. However, um, if, if the uh, circumstances are extended because the other country is limiting your ability to go back to work or that overseas contract or employment has not recommenced or it's not going to recommence or it's not available and you need another month or two to find new contracts and new work how will that play on your situation and your circumstance um, th th there isn't an absolute answer and it's about keeping records being pragmatic and you know if you want uh, ongoing advice and expertise for expats on tax residents in the UK uh, contact us at projectpartnership.com and we'll keep you in touch on a one-to-one -one basis during the rest of this uh, tax year. Um, what about relocation? Again, for, for expats looking to relocate, either uh, just to base their business abroad or, or to retire abroad, um, again, the timing of that can be impacted. So we have, uh, we're in a UK tax year of April to March and if you stay beyond the 1st of October in the UK then you're tax president in the UK for, for the current year. So how are you going to manage that if your, your relocation is delayed? And again that, that, that could be an issue because there's a second point to consider which is, is Brexit. <laughs>